Hillside Church, Pastor Matt here. As I was kind of looking at what's coming up on the Hillside calendar, I got a little overwhelmed because there's just a lot of stuff that is coming up. So I said, you know what? I need to make a video and explain to you guys kind of what's happening, give you a few more details. So here we are, and that's what I'm doing for you. Let me start with tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, we're going to have a prayer service together. Now, you may remember a few months ago, we had a prayer training that was really, really well received. Um, we had some great moments. God really showed up, and the Holy Spirit really ministered to some people. So we said, let's do that again. So Friday night, Paul Graham and Paul Muritor will be leading us in a time of worship together, then a little training on how to do some prayer together. And then we're going to break out in groups, and we're going to pray for some healing, some restoration, and some forgiveness. It's just going to be a really wonderful time where people will be able to minister to each other soul to soul with the Holy Spirit. So I really encourage you to be a part of that. It is at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. That is Friday night. Now, if you need child care, that will be available. We just need to know that you're bringing them so we can arrange that for you. So please let us know if you have any child care needs. Now, Sunday is a huge day for us as a church. Sunday, we're going to do uh, Donut Day is what we're calling it. That's right, Donut Day. Everybody who comes is going to get a nice, fresh donut. And who doesn't love donuts? So what we are encouraging to do is invite your friends. Maybe they've been looking for a church. They've been out of church. Just, you know, this is just a great time to say, hey, this is a time to try us out because you and your kids are going to get a donut. You're going to hear great singing and worship together and then a really practical message. The message is actually on bearing fruit, being fruit-bearing people. Uh, what it means to be a Christian who actually produces fruit in their lives. It's very, very practical. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to bring it to you. Uh, so many times we misunderstand what it means to be a fruit-bearing Christian. And I think that God has got some really great things to teach us. And then to put feet to that message, we're going to be doing some emergency supply baskets for the teachers of Coleman Hill Elementary School. There's 27 teachers. They're running out of Kleenex. They're running out of the anti-flu stuff. It's that time of year for them, and, and we want to just come alongside of them and bless that school. So what we've done is we're collecting supplies, and then after church on Sunday, this Sunday, we're going to gather and put those in a basket, a nice cellophane wrapper, make it really pretty for them, and then we're going to bless the socks off those teachers. So I hope you can make it a part of your day to stay with us and help us do that. This is a part of the whole challenge that I've given to the church to, to give 500 hours of community service to really be the hands and feet of Jesus, the salt of the earth, the light of the world into the darkness that is around us. So I really encourage you to be a part of that as well. Now I've got a special announcement, something we're just kind of kicking off. I have been invited uh, to give the message on Monday Thursday at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in town. Now most of you know we're coming together as a clergy to try to be more unified and do things together. Uh, the rector there, Nils, has invited me to give the message on Monday Thursday. So what Beth and I decided was let's just make this a joint service. So we want to invite you, the Hillside family, to come at 730 on Monday Thursday. That's the Thursday before Easter. Um, and we're going to join them in a joint service. Uh, it'll be a, a great time together of, of seeing how other people do their worship. And then I'll be delivering the message. It's just going to be a fantastic evening together. So we encourage you to be a part of that. Also, the next night we'll have our Good Friday service, which is shaping up to be a really amazing experience as well. Beth and Amanda are working on that. That's going to be at 7 o'clock. I really, really encourage you to be a part of our Good Friday service. We haven't forgotten about it, but it is coming up, and we wanted to let you know that. Then on Easter, Easter Sunday, April 1st, is going to be a great time for us. The theme of that morning is Born to Fly. Every Christian, every person was born to fly. We are we are eagles that soar before God. And really, really want all of us to be encouraged by that as the power of the resurrection feel, fills our lives. So that's the theme. We also have something very special for you that day as well. We are going to provide a breakfast for you, a kid-friendly breakfast that will start at 9 a.m. So we'll be here with breakfast for you. You can come, you can enjoy it, you can eat it, and then attend the Easter service as well. Hey, we've got some great plans. If you have any questions, call the office, email us, let us know. I know a lot of stuff is happening. It is Lent, it is Easter season, but there's just some really incredible things happening, and I hope you can be a part of it. Hey, thanks for listening.